Welcome back to another Matty Ice Reviews. And today, guys, we have another As Seen on TV review. As you can see, we're at the stove again, so we're going to be testing another piece of cookware. Today's test will be on the Granite Tough Pan As Seen on TV. This is the 12 inch kind of non stick pan version. They do make a smaller one and they have some other products in there. And this one claims that it's got this granite impregnated coating on it that is super tough. It doesn't have any PFOA, PTFE, or other harmful chemicals in it. It works on any type of stove or oven. You can even use it inside of the oven. It goes up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. It's dishwasher safe, scratch resistant, and it provides a more even heat distribution. Looking at the bottom, it has a nice you know, like stainless steel pattern down there but yeah um, it's also is claiming that this handle will not get hot we'll we'll see how true that is it looks nice but this one if you can see right here cook without butter oils and chemicals so what's interesting about this one as we saw in the blue diamond pan we had to use oil and butter that was actually the recommended setting or recommended instructions for cooking with this this one had no instructions but it does very clearly state on there don't use any butter or oil i have to imagine this is a very kind of like rough look at the texture here you can see it i mean it's this is rough you can feel these little indentations on here and it's it's not smooth so i wonder if that butter or oil would build up on there all right, guys, I cleaned up really easy. I do kind of like the texture on here. As you clean it, you can really feel it, you know, things scouring on it. So I think maybe things will have a hard time sticking on here. Now, there's no recommended cooking temperature on the packaging that I received, but going online, they do recommend that you cook on a medium temperature. So just like our blue diamond pan, I'm just going to turn this to here. Right now, this is on seven out of ten on our stove so i would consider that to be like you know the lower end of medium high we'll just see how long this thing takes to actually get heated up before we start throwing our stuff on there there right now we just turn the stove on and it's already heating up to 110 it's heating up pretty quickly top edge of the pan 113 bottom edge 107 we got this corner right here is at 114 and 105 right there let's wait till this gets a little bit hotter and we're gonna do uh, kind of the same thing we did with the blue diamond pan we're going to start with a little cheese on here we'll do some eggs and then we'll get some shrimps on there as well okay so I had to turn this back on because this pan starting to worry me a little bit it are you guys hearing that it's like making cracking sounds <laughs> like I've, I've tested a couple pans I'm, I mean, I'm not doing anything right now. I mean, I'm I'm standing right here. I'm not doing anything. Okay. You guys hear that? That's the pan. I don't know what the hell is going on right now. Let's turn it back down to medium heat. Oh, my God. Okay, so we turned it down to medium. Th that was on, like, that next step right above medium. So that's not that hot, I don't think, for this pan. For something that can take 500 degrees... We're only at about 220 in the middle. Okay, but it's definitely hot enough now to melt cheese. So let's get some cheese on here. And hopefully this thing doesn't like explode or something. It's doing it again. I don't know what's up with this pan. Maybe it's just like a break-in thing where it has to do that for a little while before it becomes normal. All right. Oh yeah, there's our cheese. Make a nice little mound of cheese in the middle. All right, let's let that melt on here and then we're gonna try and slide it around. All right, guys, cheese is bubbling away, so let's try and move it now. See, oh, that's actually really nice. Look at that, it's, it's just bending right up. I mean, it's not sticking. Ew. Look at that, I made a little cheese roll. That's, that's so cool. I, it actually, I mean, that sticks less than it did on that blue diamond pan. The blue diamond pan, everything was kind of just like, it's sitting there and still sticky, but this one, it's just folding right away. I mean, you see it sticks a little bit, but it just rolls right away. Let's see if we can pick this up and tilt it around. Yeah. It just slides all over. It's not sticking whatsoever. 
All right, guys, this has been on here for about an extra three minutes, and it's it's just sizzling away. It's not sticking. As you can see, I can toss this all around the pan. Nothing. I mean, it, it turns really easily. I actually really like that. The blue diamond pan was good, too, but I think this one's been a bit better so far. Yeah, look at that. It's all over the place. Let's check our temps real quick before we pull this cheese off. Middle of the pan, 300. Top, 318. Side, 312. Bottom is holding 293. And side holding at 306. Let's check our handle. Handle is now at 100. No. Sorry, 96. It was scanning. 96. And let's check the top of the handle. 84. So this handle's getting kind of hot too. All right, let's pull this off and we will try something else. Actually cleaned up extremely easily. Uh, about as easily as the blue diamond did, but man, that this handle here at the bottom, it got really freaking hot. It was uh, it was uncomfortable holding it a long time. I think it's warm enough now that we can put an egg on there. And again, it says don't use any butter or oil, so. Okay, easy cracker. Do your thing. Right on there. Easy peasy. All right, guys, we're gonna let this thing cook up a little bit more and then we're gonna try and move it around the pan. All right, guys, this egg's been cooking away for two or three minutes. If we check temps, 328, 311, a little bit cooler, or hotter, I mean. 336, 326, yeah, it's, it's evenly heating. That side's a little bit cooler. Now the handle, we're talking 100, no, come on. There we go, 93 still. Middle, about 87, so it is getting hot. Okay. So let's uh, let's try and slide this around. Look at that. Like no resistance at all. It's just scooting around that pan. That is so cool. Okay. And then let's let's give her a flip arena. As you can see, we still have a yoke there, so let's flip and see if the yoke will uh, maybe stick to this. All right, guys, this egg's been on here for like seven minutes now. I'm just letting it cook away to see if we could burn it. And as you can see, it does stick a little bit, but it does still slide around. And the handle is uncomfortably hot now. This handle is uh, hitting 113. That's the point where, you know, it's you can tell it's warm at the base. It's 149. Let's flip this egg over and see what the other side looks like. Yeah, nice and browned on there. Okay, and we do have a little tiny bit you can see right here sticking, but it's not scraping off either. Oh, yeah, it did. Look at that. It came right off. All right, so here's our shrimps. Let's throw some shrimps on here. Oh, man, look at that buddy sizzling. And there's no oil on these. This is just a little bit of water from them defrosting. Okay, just like in other tests, we'll use a little fork to move these around very easily moving still but they just got on there and they still have a lot of moisture in them so we'll let them cook up for a little bit oh look at that we got some sticking oh no you guys see that the shrimps are sticking on there okay it's been about a minute and a half since we uh last checked on these shrimps so let's uh let's get our fork and let's see if we can move these around again this one still moves pretty good. It's got a nice browning on the top. Let's try... Oh, no. Look at this one. I can't... Oh, there it goes. Big chunk of shrimp got pulled off there. Okay. It is browned up nicely on that side. That one, it pulled a little bit. You can see we're kind of mangling the shrimp a little bit. But they seem like they're cooking away. All right, guys, so we cleaned up very nicely. Look, it, it looks new. That handle, though, man, that is getting way too hot. That gets much hotter than the blue diamond, and the blue diamond got pretty pretty hot there. Uh, this one, when I was cleaning it, man, it's already up to 120 on part of the handle, and then the other handle was it. Part, I mean, the back part of the handle was still at, like, 95, 96, but uh, I know these are made to go in the oven, and you're going to grab those with a pot holder anyway, but for using on a stove top, that's just, it feels like it's conducting too much heat back towards me. So now comes the torture test. Let's get our fork.
There's something so wrong about doing that. And looking at the pan after I've rubbed it a couple times, let's look. I don't see any, you know, like streaking. Let's get it close and make some. Oh, you can see right there, there are some scratches on it now from rubbing that back and forth and not pushing hard at all. Let's give it a little buff and see if that was maybe just, you know, like surface scratch. That might have just been like some, you know, surface wear. I'm still seeing some scratches right there, but it's not that bad. We're just going to use metal utensils. You have the same wire scraper you used the other night. To hit it all up. Let's see if that one did any damage. I don't see any visible damage from that wire scraper. Everything looks the same. I do have little tiny chunks right here, but I think that's just the way the pan looks. I'm not going to hit this with an actual hammer, but here's my meat scraper, the one that actually damaged the blue diamond pan. And we're just going to take it. Okay, we gave that a couple little hits. I don't see anything immediately. I mean, it looks kind of chalky up here now. Oh yeah, I think we damaged it. So, let's take a look. Okay, see right there, we've got these little black chunks sticking up. Those were not there before. That's some damage to the finish. So, this pan's claim that it can stand up to hammers and concrete being smashed in it. There, there's no way. And this is not a heavy meat hammer. This is actually an aluminum one. There's not a lot of weight here. This thing maybe weighs half a pound. So, the granite tough pan is not as tough as it says it is, but it's still a pretty darn good pan. Alright, let's give it a quick wipe and see if that kind of fixes any of the... Ooh. So, after all that scraping in there, look at all that kind of black, and there's a couple little pieces on there. So, yeah, we, we did some damage to this thing. Who knows if it's going to hold up now. Okay, let's take a look at those areas we scratched up. That actually looks pretty good. Looks like it evened out. And I can still see a couple of those little chippy marks that we made. Alright guys, so as far as the granite tough pan goes, I think it's a decent pan. It does a good job of things not sticking to it, which is what you want from this pan. Where it fails is that the finish is not as tough as it's leading you to believe. I would still want to use a plastic you, uh, like spatula or utensils on this. I would not want to be using metal because that is going to decrease the life of the finish. I do also like that it's dishwasher safe. That's a big plus for me because throwing stuff in the dishwasher is just an easy way to go. The handle though. This handle gets uncomfortably warm. Warmer than the Blue Diamond. I think uh, they could use a better design here to try and transfer some of that heat away from the handle and keep it in the pan. Other than that, it's a good pan. Uh, I think it's about the same par as the Blue Diamond. A little bit better in terms of non-stick and not having to use butter and oil. So I guess it targets a slightly different audience of people. So, in my opinion, this pan's, it's just like the Blue Diamond. It's a, you know, it's six, six and a half out of ten. It does a lot of things very well, but also does a lot of things very poorly. So, give them a try if you want to. You can find the granite pans on clearance at a lot of stores now, too. Uh, this one in particular, the 12-inch fry pan, was only $12. That's a deal for a 12-inch fry pan. And I think you could buy a lot worse fry pans. So, give this one a try. Give Blue Diamond a try. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you had any good experiences or bad experiences with these pans? Alright, guys. That's going to do it for this one. We'll catch you next time. Have a good night.